Hey, if you're trying to go live to YouTube, then there's a couple things that you need to set up beforehand to make sure that your live videos look amazing. And we're gonna cover that right now. Maybe you've done this and maybe you haven't, but when you first create a YouTube account, one of the things it wants you to do is create an account. Your creator journey begins. Maybe you've done this already in a long time ago, but maybe you haven't, I don't wanna assume. But you need to make sure that you set up your channel and you create a name and you create your channel for yourself. For this, I'm gonna be creating it with my own channel. So I'm gonna click select with my own name. Once I've created my YouTube channel, it'll ask me to upload a photo, upload a description and that sort of thing. Once I input all of these details, it'll bring me to the next step. There we go, I've just created my very first YouTube channel. Now, many of you are probably already at this step or you already have tons of videos, but going live could be a little different and live streaming requires a little bit of a different setup. If I go up here to the little creator icon and click go live, you'll notice that a little window pulls up. Live streaming isn't available and it'll redirect me to this page. And what happens is I need to verify my account. If you're having any problems live streaming at all, maybe you're using another service or something like that and you're trying to live stream YouTube and then you start getting all these weird errors, this is likely a huge problem. YouTube wants you to verify your account to prove that you're not a robot and not just trying to spam their services and go live over and over and over and over. And look, I totally get it. It's frustrating that YouTube won't let you go live without verifying your account. I've been there, but once you get verified, this whole process becomes a lot easier. So this is really easy. You just choose your country and then you can either call or text. But for this, I'm gonna have them text me. In fact, I just got the number here. So all I'm gonna do is go over here and click submit now. And it says, congratulations, your YouTube account is now verified. Hooray! I'll click continue. Next, you're gonna get what I call the black screen of death. It's a horrible little message that says ready in 24 hours. It takes 24 hours to activate your account for live streaming. The funny part is it doesn't matter if you've had your account for 24 hours or three weeks or two years. Sometimes when you're trying to go live, this step is still required. And I get it, it's frustrating, but you have to wait out a full 24 hours. Please understand that this isn't saying up to 24 hours or it might be a couple hours. This is saying you have to wait a minimum and a maximum of 24 hours. Essentially by this time today, it will unlock and then it will let me go. This is to help prevent spam and prevent all the sorts of robot things and this is all on YouTube's end to ensure top quality for them. Also, one more thing that I'd like to mention, if you're using a pre-recorded service or some kind of software that you're live streaming to, you wanna make sure that you're live streaming to your YouTube channel and not your own Google account. Let me show you what I mean. Right now, I'm using a service called Live Pigeon. It lets me take a pre-recorded video and stream it as if it's actually live. This is how I prefer to go live. And for this, what I need to do is I need to sign in with YouTube and you'll see, if I select any account here, you'll see that there is a Gmail account and a Google account, and then there's also a YouTube account here as well. It's super important that when you're doing this, you need to be clicking on your YouTube account, all right? So this is because sometimes you can have one login and you can be like an admin of six different YouTube channels. So I can line, sign into Google under one account and then it's asking me which channel do I wanna go live to? And a lot of times people end up choosing the wrong channel or the wrong video, right? Where they end up choosing their, their email instead of actually choosing the right login. So for this, I'm gonna click my YouTube channel and I'm gonna click allow. And now my live streaming setup is all ready to go. This happens a lot with any kind of service, doesn't matter what kind of service you use, and it's just a small little kink that you might run into every now and then. If you've been having any errors at all while trying to use other live streaming services, this is likely the reason why you're struggling and the reason why you've had so many issues. If this isn't part of the issue, then it's probably another issue, and I have tons of videos on that as well. Thanks for watching, and if this video genuinely helped you, please click like down below, and I can't wait to see you, hopefully live, on the next one.